Thank you. Awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah. 60 bucks, man. You can't go wrong. Plus, they give you two batteries. You know? mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's going to beep when a low battery happens, but... Dawson said, he goes, I want to chase it with my drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Did it die? A lot of fun, huh? This is awesome. <laughs> Need to get little uh, little fake guns at <laughs> <laughs> little tarot guns. Nice. I mean, for the wind that we're having right now, it's yeah. as light as this thing is. I can't believe it flies so good. I'd like to get a couple of them. <laughs> I bet Mama would like to fly this, huh? I wish she would. I think. This is easier than a drone. <laughs> yeah, I love this style plane too. I do too. Huh? I do too.
Just keep it, keep put it in expert and keep it higher. You know, a little bit higher so that you can, if you if you need help, just snap it back into uh, uh, beginner and it'll save it. it the gyro will take over. Um, I it. forgot how to switch it. <laughs> You can do barrel rolls. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was, that was, yeah. Nice, nice. So mid level is a good level. Can have a little fun. Can you do barrel rolls? No, not quite. I know an expert it does, but... I think fly's awesome. I love it. Do they have other, other models? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Oh, birds are visiting. <laughs> this is the Eashin Warbird 400 series. Really nice flyer. Uh, both of our, it's my second time today flying it. Uh, my son's first time flying a plane ever. And he's doing pretty good. Right now he's in intermediate, uh, mid-level. Uh, and it flies really, really good. I'm impressed. And he's doing a great job. There we go, a couple of loops. Look, there's a bird. Wants to know what's going on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. Really quiet. I can't get over how quiet this thing is. Whew. It's really quiet. Can you land it? Unless you want, no, you don't have to. Yeah, if you, whenever you're ready, try landing it in the grass. I can't believe the flight time of these little, uh, these little batteries. They're at least, I would say, at least 12 to 15 minutes of flight time per battery anyway. Oh, you can coast it in. Nice. Pull up a little bit on the right stick when you're going down. Make sure it's level. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh nice. That was good, though. It's just the landing gear. That, if we didn't have the landing gear on, you wouldn't have flip-flopped. And then kept like the props the on. That's my favorite one. Hey, go ahead. Keep flying. I'm cold. <laughs> you
the wind. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, vertical. All right, I just wanted to go over the transmitter real quick. Uh, this is the transmitter. Um, when you turn your plane on, uh, well, you put the battery in, the plane turns on automatically. Um, the controller or the transmitter uh, requires you to basically clear the plane or, or check it or bind it, I should say. You just go up and down just like you do with a lot of drones. Uh, after that, um, if I pushed up on this, would prop would start to spin and uh, the throttle would increase. And uh, if I turn this from side to side, I don't know if you can see the rudder turning. Uh, that tail rudder um, is what steers the back of your plane one way or the other. So you can turn in a certain direction. Um, like I said, that's the throttle. If you move it up, uh, this is your aileron controls, uh, the tail flaps are controlled. I don't know if you can see that. If I move it up and down, uh, if I move the controller down, the plane will, uh, go up. And if I push it up, uh, the plane will go down and... Uh, these here are your aileron controls. You can see the flaps moving individually. Ooh, the left side goes up when I want it to roll left. And then uh, the right side goes up when I want it to roll right. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as the functions of the plane. Uh, there is... A beginner mode, a mid-level mode, and an expert mode. Uh, I do recommend if you've never flown a plane before, like my son did at first, he put it in beginner mode. Uh, then the gyro is fully um, on, and uh, and the plane is really uh, very controllable. Uh, the mid-level mode allows you to do some loops. Uh, and if some, you know, some stunts, uh, but it will not allow you to do barrel rolls. Uh, and then if you want to do expert mode, you, you just basically turn off the gyro and, uh, you are on your own. But if you see yourself getting into trouble, you can just flick it down to beginner mode and the gyro will take over. And this is that toggle right here. Just... It's three positions up and down and uh, this button right here is your aerobatics button so you can do some uh, you can do some pre-programmed stunts and that is about it you do have your trim buttons and uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell yeah both my son and I really enjoyed flying uh, this plane uh, I think I'm going to get two more, one for each of them, uh, so we can fly all three of them together. Uh, just deciding which one they want to get is going to be the hard part. Um, but definitely recommend these guys if you're into or curious about flying airplanes. Uh, definitely look into the e uh 400 series. And they also make one, uh, I think it's a 600 series, where it's a 600 millimeter wingspan, a little bit bigger, and uh, but probably just as easy to fly. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. If you don't mind, hit that like button. If you like uh, the content that you're seeing, check out some of my other videos if you want. 
And, uh, and if you like that, uh, please subscribe. I invite you to subscribe uh, and hit the bell notification uh, so you can get uh, regular notifications of when I'm putting out uh, new uploads and stuff. Guys, for now, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, I got work early in the morning, so anyway, I'm signing off. Thank you Bye. for watching.